trespass. Torts. An unlawful act committed with violence, T-I-E-T armus, to the person, property, or relative rights of another. Every felony includes a trespass in common parlance, such acts are not in general considered as trespasses, yet they subject the offender to an action of trespass after his conviction or acquittal. See Civil Remedy. 2. There is another kind of trespass, which is committed without force, and is known by the name of trespass on the case. This is not generally known by the name of trespass. See Case. 3. The following rules characterize the injuries which are denominated trespasses, namely, 1. To determine whether an injury is a trespass, due regard must be had to the nature of the right affected. A wrong with force can only be offered to the absolute rights of personal liberty and security, and to those of property corporeal, those of health, reputation, and in property incorporeal, together with the relative rights of persons, are, strictly speaking, incapable of being injured with violence, because the subject matter to which they relate, exists in either case only an idea, and is not to be seen or handled. An exception to this rule, however, often obtains in the very instance of injuries to the relative rights of persons, and wrongs offered to these last are frequently denominated trespasses, that is, injuries with force. 4.2. Those wrongs alone are characterized as trespasses the immediate consequences of which are injurious to the plaintiff, if the damage sustained is a remote consequence of the act, the injury falls under the denomination of trespass on the case. 5.3. No act is injurious, but that which is unlawful, and therefore, where the force applied to the plaintiff's property or person is the act of the law itself, it constitutes no cause of complaint. Ham. N. P. 34, 2 Bill. Ev. 131, Back. A. B. R. H. T. 15 E. Star, 614, Bov. I. N. S. T. Index, H. T. As to what will justify a trespass, see battery. Wrong. An injury, Q, V, a tort, Q, V, a violation of right. In its most usual sense, wrong signifies an injury committed to the person or property of another, or to his relative rights, unconnected with contract, and these wrongs are committed with or without force. But in a more extended signification, wrong includes the violation of a contract, a failure by a man to perform his undertaking or promise is a wrong or injury to him to whom it was made. 3 BL. Commander 158. 2. Wrongs are divided into public and private. 1. A public wrong is an act which is injurious to the public generally, commonly known by the name of crime, misdemeanor, or offense, and it is punishable in various ways, such as indictments, summary proceedings, and upon conviction by death, imprisonment, fine, and c. 2. Private wrongs, which are injuries to individuals, unaffecting the public, these are redressed by actions for damages, and c. Injury. A wrong or tort. Injuries are divided into public and private, and they affect the person, personal property, or real property. 3. 1. They affect the person absolutely or relatively. The absolute injuries are threats and menaces, assaults, batteries, wounding, mayhems, injuries to health by nuisances or medical malpractices. Those affecting reputation are verbal slander, libels, and malicious prosecutions, and those affecting personal liberty are false imprisonment and malicious prosecutions. The relative injuries are those which affect the rights of a Hashin, these are, abduction of the wife, or harboring her, adultery and battery those which affect the rights of a parent, as, abduction, seduction, or battery of a child, and of a master, seduction, harboring and battery of his apprentice or servant. Those which conflict with the rights of the inferior relation, namely, the wife, child, apprentice, or servant, are, withholding conjugal rights, maintenance, wages, and c. 4.2. Injuries to personal property are the unlawful taking and detention thereof from the owner, and other injuries are some damage affecting the same while in the claimant's possession or that of a third person or injuries to his reversionary interests. 5. 3. Injuries to real property are ousters, trespasses, nuisances, waste, subtraction of rent, disturbance of right of way, and the like. 6. 
injuries arise in three ways. 1. By non-feasance, or the not doing what was a legal obligation or duty, or contract, to perform. 2. Misfeasance, or the performance, in an improper manner, of an act which it was either the party's duty, or his contract, to perform. 3. Malfeasance, or the unjust performance of some act which the party had no right, or which he had contracted not to do. 7. The remedies are different, as the injury affects private individuals, or the public. 1. When the injuries affect a private right and a private individual, although often also affecting the public, there are three descriptions of remedies. First, the preventive, such as defense, resistance, recaption, abatement of nuisance, surety of the peace, injunction, and c. 2d. Remedies for compensation, which may be by arbitration, suit, action, or summary proceedings before a justice of the peace. 3d. Proceedings for punishment, as by indictment or summary proceedings before a justice. 2. When the injury is such as to affect the public, it becomes a crime, misdemeanor, or offense, and the party may be punished by indictment or summary conviction, for the public injury, and by civil action at the suit of the party, for the private wrong. But in cases of felony, the remedy by action for the private injury is generally suspended until the party particularly injured has fulfilled his duty to the public by prosecuting the offender for the public crime, and in cases of homicide the remedy is merged in the felony. 1 Chit. PR 10 AL. Panned. 592. C1 Miles Republic 316, 17, and Article Civil Remedy. 8. There are many injuries for which the law affords no remedy. In general, it interferes only when there has been a visible bodily injury inflicted by force or poison, while it leaves almost totally unprotected the whole class of the most malignant mental injuries and sufferings unless in a few cases, where by descending to a fiction, it sordidly supposes some pecuniary loss, and sometimes, under a mask, and contrary to its own legal principles, affords compensation to wounded feelings. A parent, for example, cannot sue, in that character, for an injury inflicted on his child, and when his own domestic happiness has been destroyed, unless the fact will sustain the allegation that the daughter was the servant of her father, and that, by reason of such seduction, he lost the benefit of her services. Another instance may be mentioned, a party cannot recover damages for verbal slander in many cases, as, when the facts published are true, for the defendant would justify and the party injured must fail. A case of this kind, remarkably barred, occurred in England. A young nobleman had seduced a young woman who, after living with him some time, became sensible of the impropriety of her conduct. She left him secretly, and removed to an obscure place in the kingdom, where she obtained a situation, and became highly respected in consequence of her good conduct she was even promoted to a better and more public employment when she was unfortunately discovered by her seducer. He made proposals to her to renew their illicit intercourse, which were rejected, in order to force her to accept them, he published the history of her early life, and she was discharged from her employment, and lost the good opinion of those on whom she depended for her livelihood. For this outrage the culprit could not be made answerable, civilly or criminally. Nor will the Law punish criminally the author of verbal slander, imputing even the most infamous crimes, unless done with intent to extort a chattel, money, or valuable thing. The law presumes, perhaps unnaturally enough, that a man is incapable of being alarmed or affected by such injuries to his feelings. Vid 1 Chit. Med. Jur. 320, C. Generally, Bov. INST Index, HT. Injury. Civil law, in the technical sense of the term it is a delict committed in contempt, or outrage of any one, whereby his body, his dignity, or his reputation, is maliciously injured. Voet, Commander Ed Pand. Lib 47, T, 10 and 1. 2. Injuries may be divided into two classes, with reference to the means used by the wrongdoer, namely, by words and by acts. The first are called verbal injuries, the latter real. 3. A verbal injury, when directed against a private person, consists in the uttering contumelious words, which tend to expose his character, by making him little or ridiculous. 
where the offensive words are uttered in the beat of a dispute and spoken to the person's face, the law does not presume any malicious intention in the utterer, whose resentment generally subsides with his passion. And yet, even in that case, the truth of the injurious words seldom absolves entirely from punishment. Where the injurious expressions have a tendency to blacken one's moral character or fix some particular guilt upon him, and are deliberately repeated in different companies or banded about in whispers to confidence, it then grows up to the crime of slander, agreeably to the distinction of the Roman law 1. 15, 12, de injure. For, a real injury is inflicted by any fact by which a person's honor or dignity is affected, as striking one with a cane, or even aiming a blow without striking, spitting in one's face, assuming a coat of arms, or any other mark of distinction proper to another, and see. The composing and publish in defamatory libels may be reckoned of this kind. Ersk. PRL, Scott. 4 4 45. To restore. To return what has been unjustly taken, to place the owner of a thing in the state in which he formerly was. By restitution is understood not only the return of the thing itself, but all its accessories. It is to return the thing and its fruits. Dig. 60, 16, 35, 75, et 246, 1. Restitution. Maritime law. The placing back or restoring articles which have been lost by jettison, this is done when the remainder of the cargo has been saved at the general charge of the owners of the cargo, but when the remainder of the goods are afterwards lost, there is not any restitution. Stev. On AV1 C1 S1 Art. 1 2 8. Vide recompense. Practice. The return of something to the owner of it, or to the person entitled to it. 2. After property has been taken into execution, and the judgment has been reversed or set aside, the party against whom the execution was sued out shall have restitution, and this is enforced by a writ of restitution. Crow. Jack. 698, for Mod. 161. When the thing levied upon under an execution has not been sold, the thing itself shall be restored. When it has been sold, the price for which it is sold is to be restored. Roll. About 778, back. About execution, Q, 1L, and S, 425. 3. The phrase restitution of conjugal rights frequently occurs in the ecclesiastical courts. A suit may there be brought for this purpose whenever either the husband or wife is guilty of the injury of subtraction, or lives separate from the other without sufficient reason, by which the party injured may compel the other to return to cohabitation. 1 BL Commander 94. 1 Adams, R, 305, 3 Hag. Eckel, R, 619. Chattels. Property. A term which includes all hinds of property, except the freehold, or things which are parcel of it. It is a more extensive term than goods or effects. Debtors taken in execution, captives, apprentices, are accounted chattels. Godel. Orf. Leg. Part 3, Chapter 6, 1. 2. Chattels are personal or real. Personal, are such as belong immediately to the person of a man, chattels real, are such as either appertain not immediately to the person, but to something by way of dependency, as a box with the title deeds of lands, or such as are issuing out of some real estate, as a lease of lands, or term of years, which pass like personally to the executor of the owner. Company. Lit. 118, 1 Chit. PR 90, 8 Vin. About 296, 11 Vin. About 166, 14 Vin. About 109, back. About Baron and C, C2, 2 Kent, Commander 278, Danes about Index, HT, Commander Dig. Bienz, A, Bove. INS 